Hello, a very good morning to you. Across the UK, our coldest night of the season so far last night, Aberdeenshire falling away to minus 17. Northwest England fell to around minus 8, minus 9, and there's been some freezing fog patches to start the day today. Many of us won't get above 2 or 3 degrees this afternoon, but there's some nice wintry sunshine to be had, and it's largely dry out there with mist and fog lifting as we go through the day. So it's very cold, winds are falling light, and there'll no doubt be icy stretches where there's any moisture on roads, so do take care if you're out about today and tonight. Overnight tonight, we can expect another cold one, widely falling to around minus four, minus five, and in a few sheltered spots, maybe a couple of degrees below that. Again, a few freezing fog patches, a dry night to come, and as we head into tomorrow morning, winds falling very light here in the northwest. It'll be like a fridge to start the day tomorrow once again. A few icy stretches on roads and pavements, no doubt, but another very similar day in prospect. Cold? dry some wintry sunshine to look forward to here and there no real danger of any wintry showers for us on the west and temperatures are just lifting a little bit perhaps during the afternoon getting to around three or four celsius at best take care i'll see you again soon bye bye Hello, a very good evening to you. There have been a few glimmers of brightness around today, but cloud has been building, patchy rain and drizzle moving in across the region from the southwest, and more wet and windy weather pushing in as we go through the early hours of tomorrow morning. Unsettled the next few days, with showers never too far away. Low pressure systems will be sweeping in from the west as we go through the course of this week. There will be a few drier days, but blustery winds will feature. We avoid a frost, though. The next few nights continue to be quite mild for our part of the world into this evening. Patchy rain and drizzle will tend to die away, but it leaves behind some low cloud mistiness and murk for a time. Then the skies will clear, and then through the early hours of tomorrow morning, a band of wet and windy weather sweeps up from the southwest. Tomorrow, it'll feel quite wet and windy to start the day, but mild, eight or nine Celsius, the overnight low. Tomorrow, the sun will be up at 7.37 and setting at 4.13. Quite a wet rush hour, I would have thought, for northwest England. As we go through the first part of the day, bands of showery rain sweep in. They're pushing northwards and eastwards during the morning and winds will begin to ease off as well, but quite gusty for a time. Behind it, brighter skies, a largely dry end to the day and temperatures, they're around average 12, maybe 13 Celsius at best. Looking ahead, Wednesday should be a largely dry day. Cloudy though, and later on, winds will get up and there's another band of wet and windy weather moving through as we head into Thursday. That turns more showery later on in the day. Temperature-wise, we're not doing too badly, just about avoiding a frost, but as we get towards the weekend, perhaps a little bit chillier both by day and night. Enjoy your evening. Hello again, hope you're having a nice evening, cold out there. Hard frosts to come over the next few nights and by day below average temperatures. For us in the northwest it should be largely dry but there will be a few showers and some of these have the potential to turn wintry with sleet and snow, particularly up on higher ground. There's a few showers in the west as we go through the night tonight but for most places it's clear, dry, very frosty. Minus five, maybe minus six away from towns as we go through into the early hours of tomorrow morning. And where there's any moisture on roads and footpaths, it is going to turn icy. Something to be aware of over the next few days. The sun is up tomorrow at 8.14. It sets at 3.51 tomorrow afternoon. A very cold start to the day tomorrow with showers again for western areas. Perhaps a few flurries of something wintry there. For most of us, a dry day. But later on, from the east, we'll begin to see one or two showers nudging into the Cumbrian Fells, the Pennines. And that could lead to a couple of centimetres of snow before the end of tomorrow. For most of us, though, it's dry, very cold, three or four Celsius at best tomorrow afternoon. Looking ahead into the weekend, more of the same. Chance of a few wintry flurries on Friday and hard frost to come by night. Good night.